So now let's define the roots for our web pages. So right click on live new dot file and we will create a file by the name roots web underscore pages that is roots for the web pages. Create a class by the name roots for web pages. static root dynamic create roots root settings settings root final arguments and we will assign to this the settings root dot arguments we will use a switch statement and we will say settings root dot name so the first case is if the if it is if the setting root dot name if the setting root name is only only slash then it simply means that we have to send the user to the login login sign up screen so we can say return material page root builder context c and we can say const our login sign up page login sign up login sign up which is basically this one login sign up page and if you want to rename it if you want to add page with it then make sure to select this name okay like this and then right click on it refractor rename and just write here page and then press refractor so it will automatically do the changes and it will rename it here automatically as well as you can see similarly let me check here here it is okay and here also it is okay so now what we can do is if the case is only slash if the setting root name is slash then we have to send the user to the login sign up page otherwise the second case I mean the next case will be let's copy paste this two times further so if the case is slash login if it is if the setting root name is equals to slash login then we have to send the user to the login sign up page as well then the next case will be home if the setting root name is slash home and it simply means that we have to send the user to the home page and then the next case will be if the setting root name is equals to slash messages then we have to send the user to the messages page okay and other than this let's say if there is any error occur so outside this switch we can return our error page root that is we have to display something okay so let's just implement this error page root so after the static root that is after this static root dynamic return material page root we will return a scaffold widget and we will add an app bar and in the title
we will display like page not found web page not found and then of course in the body if you want to display something at the center of the body or you can say at the center of the page after app bar we will display a child let's display the same message which is web page not found so these are our roots for web pages which we define here so now from our main dot dot here we can say instead of this home we can say on generate root roots for web pages dot create roots okay just like this which we are referencing basically to this okay where we have uh, implement or you can say define our roots in case if any error occur if there is no root then it will display this and one thing which you notice here is basically this slash this slash simply means that at the start which page we want to display okay so only at the start you can say this case will stands true and it will send the user to the login sign up page so what we can do here is that here we can also uh, now we can say initial root that is from where we want to start the web application when the user wants to use our this whatsapp clone app so as you know that first the user has to log in or let's say sign up first so we must need here to define our root and that root will be our you can say first root or you say initial root so this is our first root which will be slash and you already know that this slash means that if the setting root name is slash then it simply means send the user to the login sign up page so that's why we give it slash and our initial root will be first root so you can say first root 